Are you living in a joyous expectancy of the best? Peggy teaches us all these, uh, this quote and Neville Goddard uses it. And in fact, I've just heard it read by Joseph Murphy. I found this beautiful quote. Um, I'm reading The Power of uh, Your Subconscious Mind. And, oh, let me read it to you. Whether the object of your faith is real or false, you will get results. Your subconscious mind responds to the thought in your mind. Look upon faith as a thought in your mind and that will suffice. Know that you can ream... Sorry, I was just reading it to myself. <laughs> Know that you can make yourself by leaving a new blueprint to your subconscious mind. New blueprint. Do you create your blueprint? If you want to build a house, you want your dream life, right? And if you want to, or let's let's compare you building your dream life to a dream dream house. If you want to build a house, you can hire a company, you can hire everything, but you need to take a steps back. So go back, you have a vision, you know exactly what you want. You hire a person who's going to draw this. Architect, sorry, yeah. It's an architect will draw your desired house. Or what, and they can make a suggestions. You can either agree or disagree. It's your choice. And then you hire a company who will build it according to the blueprint. Now, how much attention are you paying to your blueprint while you're designing your dream life? And I will tell you something. I've read in this book, a faith, it says whether the object of your faith is real or false. What does he mean? I was thinking about, do you have a faith in the right thing or the wrong thing? We can actually have a faith in something that is empowering us or we can have a faith in something which is not serving us. Is your faith in a right thing or the wrong thing? Think about that. It made me think whole day. I thought how much attention I'm paying to do we have a faith or are we living by faith or fear? But actually we can live in a faith and in a faith in the wrong thing. And I'll tell you an example. There was this lady who said, oh, I've always lived in a faith that I'm going to stay alone living because her husband died. So I will just be living on my own for the rest of my life. It was her faith in the being alone for the rest of her life. It is a belief. So faith in something is actually your belief. And you know, another, another quote from which I wrote now and stuck it on my computer from Joseph Murphy. He said, infinite intelligence and infinite power knows no obstructions, no delays and no impediments. So find an affirmation that counteracts all the negations and your life will become more blessed and more beautiful every day. So pay attention to the blueprint. Really focus on what I'm saying. Spend some time on it because then the universe will make the rest happen or God or infinite power. But you have to make the blueprint because they will come and they will deliver. You know, you pay a building company who will build your house. You pay them lots of money, but it's not about the money. But anyway, you pay them, but they will not go, oh, maybe she would like this different way. No, they will look at the blueprint and they will build the house exactly how did you draw it or your architect drew it according to your dreams or to your desire. So spend so much time on the blueprint because this rest will just happen for you. You will be guided. Listen to your intuition. And have faith in something. Have a belief that is actually creating a life you love. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.